<clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. <clears throat> Let us pause now to ask God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your minds suddenly or to be alarmed either by spirit or by oral statement or by a letter allegedly from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. Let no one deceive you in any way. To this end, he has also called you through our gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught, either by oral statement or by a letter of ours. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, Encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. <coughs> the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord, the Lord comes, comes to, to judge, judge the, earth. the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. The, the Lord, Lord comes, comes to, to judge, judge the, earth. the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then all, shall all the trees of the forest exult. Let the Lord come to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. Let the Lord come to judge the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. <coughs> Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You pay tithes of mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the weightier things of the law, judgment and mercy and fidelity. But these you should have done without neglecting the others. Blind guides who strain out the gnat and swallow the camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You cleanse the outside of cup and dish, but inside they are full of plunder and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, Cleanse first the inside of the cup, so that the outside also may be clean. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> well, we missed Deacon Rich so much, we had to have him back. <laughs> it's like a reunion. He's my ambulance driver today, so that's <laughs> good. Um, as we uh, hear Jesus' strong words, to the Pharisees and to the scribes, they are words that should ring true in all of our hearts and we should hear them. Speaking of trying to keep all the small little details of things within 
within their faith tradition, but failing to do, as he says, the weightier things which have to do with justice and, and fidelity, caring for the poor, caring for the widow. Uh, as long as they were practicing the minor, minute things of the law, they felt they were doing correctly. It almost is like a kid who is skipping to school and, you know, step on a line, you break your mother's spine, step on a crack, you break your mother's back. You know, we're, we're after these little details that really don't have anything to do with making sure we obey our mother and take care of her or our, honor our parents as we are must and should. So Jesus is just telling them that they must also keep those little things, but only if they keep the things that are more important. If they care about those ideas of justice and peace within their own society, that they care for the lost and the outcast, that they look after the poor and the widow, the orphan. These are the things that are more important, Jesus tells us. So we too ask the Lord to help us always to examine our lives, to make sure that we are not spiritual OCD as much as we should be those who care always for others. Let us stand to pray. <clears throat> it's God who hears our prayers, so we place them before him in confidence. For all the members <coughs> of the church, may Christ keep us faithful to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the people of the world, may the Lord's love and mercy be upon them and bring them to salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who live each day with fears and anxieties, may the Holy Spirit be their comfort and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may God continue to fill us with its gifts and graces. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That all goes well with Father John's surgery today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all who are sick or suffering in any way, that they may know of the Lord's healing touch, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And for all the faithful departed, especially my cousin John Newell, who died on Saturday, for Patrick, who is being remembered at this Mass, and his beloved or wife, Rita, may the Lord welcome all of them into his eternal peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And if any of you have a particular intention this morning. Physical allergy or whole world receives God's love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear us, Lord, as we come before you in confidence and trust. Teach us always and in all things to do your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at our hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. We ask this. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, 
almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world. For by, by your cross and resurrection, you, you have set, set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Patrick being remembered at this mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In confidence, we pray now together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. Have a good day, all. You have a good one, Father. Thank you. Good luck with your surgery.